I decided I'll do another video. All right. <laughs> uh, if you're keen enough, yes, that was literally 10 seconds ago. <laughs> that I stopped the other video and started. I just thought, screw it. It's recording now. I know we had a problem where it turned off halfway through and oh well. It's recording now and hopefully you can hear me. If you can, well, you're watching the video, so you can't. So, yeah. I am on a Honda CB500X. Now, ooh, Rocket 3. Nice. I think it was. Now, if you don't know who I am, go watch another video. Go watch the update video that I just made, literally 10 seconds ago. It's on the channel. Go watch that. You, you might get a little bit of update on what's been going on. I'm in a lovely place at the moment, as you can see. I'm off to Western Supermare, the beach, but I'm not going on the beach because... I don't trust other people. <laughs> With the whole lockdown, I'd rather keep my distance. Thank you very much. And I don't get any pleasure of sitting on a beach. I'd rather be on, on my bike, on my own sums. I'd rather be with me, my friends on the bikes, but at the moment, I'm on my own sums. Got my helmet on. We're all good. We're filming on this 25th of June, 2020. What a lovely time we're in at the moment. <laughs> Bloody lockdown and stuff. So what I think I'm going to do with this video is explain why I bought this thing. So last time I spoke to you, I was on a 2007 Suzuki GSX-R 1000. That had 160 odd horsepower or something like that, you know. I can't remember the stats. This. At about 47. It's like me having the Dixon and then going back to my R3. Why have I done this? So, I already explained in the other video, oh, that house, uh, that I needed a bike for work. I needed to use it every single day while working. Oh, this looks like a good corner. Hold on. Oh, it's a good set of corners. Oh, it's a tight one, actually. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, that's another good corner. I get distracted by all the good corners now. I don't know this road very well. This is a quite fun road though. If you've never seen it before and you're watching this video, go watch some of the other videos. It's been eight months since I've made those videos, but they still make sense. Main reason, the main, main, main reason of why I wanted to get one of these is the mile per gallon on these things. Honda claim about 73 miles to the gallon and I've done my own workings out over the time I've had it and I've averaged 70 miles to the gallon and that's me riding it that's through city riding commuting a little bit of dual carriageways not on motorways I haven't bought this on the motorway yet and country roads like this and I've averaged 70 miles to the gallon which is amazing, it's so good. Um, and it was lovely through the lockdown because the fuel price went down and oh, I was saving so much money. And then I needed a, I needed a bike for work, so that was, it worked perfectly. And then the other reason is because when I was looking for this, I found this one up and the dealership had actually put this up for the wrong price. Nice, I'm pretty sure that's the other version of this. I think it was the 500, and I think it had the IXIL Hyperflow exhaust on it, which I used to have on my KTM. Yeah, they actually put up the wrong price for it, and because I messaged them on the day they put it up with that price, they had to they had to um, stick with it. And they said, if you buy it, you can have it at that price. So I did. <laughs> uh, and I got a free pair of heater grips as well, because they advertised it had heater grips and it didn't, so they had to send me a free pair of 80 quid oxford heater grips so i can't complain so i got an amazing deal i'm so lucky on it and i've been riding it around and i can sell it for the same price so i can't complain so that's why i bought this bike and but it's done the job i need it to now um what I've, i'll do a, a review on it of, of everything and it's not a bad bike and now i know do it with dan obviously a massive you motorcycle youtuber well it doesn't do as much you motorcycles anymore but Personally, I don't mind that. I quite like his uh, build series. He's done a review video on this, and he said it's boring. And it is. It's, it is a very boring motorcycle. My personal nickname for this one is Donkey. It's basically, for me, it's a mule. It, I've got full panniers on it, a top box. It carried everything I bloody needed to. Uh, it wasn't the fastest thing in the world, but it did the job. 
and it did it well it's a fantastic motorcycle you can take it anywhere I mean I'm out on the twisty roads today on it and I'm still having fun uh, it's put a slip on exhaust and they make a lovely sound you have so many extras for it all the screens uh, panniers bloody all sorts you can get for these things um, I mean it's a bit lacklustre for power but the fuel makes up for that I mean it is a fantastic bike and it is a perfect commuter bike it's so comfortable you can see the seat position I'm in but yeah I'll do a proper review on it but it is a good bike but for me I need something cheaper and something I can have a little bit more fun on for me it wasn't it was the right move to get it but it's not something I could keep and have fun on because for me I, I I don't I have been but I won't be using it as a work tool or a thing I'd much before my motorcycles are out I use them to have fun on and enjoy the roads not you know I don't find pleasure motorcycle commuting I mean I do it but there's no pleasure in it um, but yeah that's, that's pretty much a short sweet video why I bought this bike and that's pretty much the only reason if you've got any other questions for it let me know if you want the review video let me know any other questions let me know um, and yeah just go spam my Instagram it's down in the description go follow me there and that's pretty much it you got any other messages DM me whoa nice indicator DM me on Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as I can other than that you stay safe and I will see you later Yummy. Is it bad I'm tempted by one of them? At my age, is it bad? It's just so badass. <laughs> I think I'd get bored of it, I think it, it's lovely to have <laughs> we're getting stopped at every single traffic light, it's nice to have and it makes a lovely sound but god I get bored, I don't want to go in the twisties but listen to it, listen to this it's beautiful because you can hear it beautifully over this beautiful stock exhaust <laughs> just listen to that that massive rear tyre on it watch it spin up oh. That's what I'd be doing off every single light, just pulling away, watching the wheel spin. Well, not watching it, you know what I mean. <laughs> We're getting stopped at every single traffic light. Uh. That's the first time I've seen the beach since lockdown. Or well, even before lockdown, well, I mean last summer. Ridiculous, man. Why? Like, I'm going to be staying in the car park. Why? I don't need to go to the beach. Doesn't need to be done. I'm going to be sitting in the car park. Chilling. Like this man. Like this woman. I wasn't calling the woman the man. The woman and man. Um.